Cisco ASAV VPN, AnyConnect, start before login. So uh, again, this doesn't have to be ASAV, it can be any ASA. So the focus, go in the group policy, edit that policy. This is pretty quick. We got to add a module, the VPN Gina, so start before login. So all you do is drop down the box, you select SBL, select OK, apply the config. Then we'll jump into the profile itself and we'll just make sure use start before login and it's user controllable. So we can uncheck that to, to enforce it. Okay, so that's it. Let's, um, this is a clean box. We'll connect to the ASA, we'll download the client, we'll run through the installation. I could have excluded this to, to further streamline this because as soon as the user connects, they get the new profile that has the start before login. Now, the reason why you might want start before login is that you have things like GPO that you want to apply or you have uh, map drives or scripts that you run once they authenticate. So having the VPN connection connect first and then log into your asset will allow those things to function. So we'll go through the installation here. This will be pretty quick. And we'll go ahead and launch any connect. Now I'm using Windows 8 in this lab. I, I just haven't downloaded the latest version. So this is the only ISO that I had available that was the as the most latest. So we'll put in the um, the URL for um, the head end or the VPN head end. We'll go ahead and log in. Now nothing's happening now, right? Because we're logging in and what we're gonna, well, there's stuff happening, but we're gonna log in we're gonna get the modules, they're gonna get installed, and now moving forward, we'll have that start before log on um, option. So installing Dart, this is uh, for troubleshooting purposes, and then the, um, the VPN Gina or start before login has also been um, installed. So we'll go ahead and I'll just bounce this box And then we'll come back. Wants to uh, do an install here. And so this will take a minute here. And then once we get back up, we should now have the option to log in. This is Windows 8, so there's a couple things you got to do here to get the login. So you saw the, I click the, the connection icon. I go ahead and log in. We give it a moment here. We'll log in. Again, you're doing this for the single fact that you want to run GPOs or login scripts. You want to make sure this asset's connected to Active Directory, right? As an example. There we are, we're connected, we authenticated to the box and our scripts and GPO can be applied, pretty easy stuff.